for us to use logarithms to solve this equation. So we can actually choose the base that you use. I'm going to go with base 4, although I will also use base 10 in a second uh, method. And the reason that it's good to use base 4 or 5 is that then one of the sides will immediately simplify. Now just remember you must use the same base on both sides. Because when you bring the 2x plus 1 down over here, you actually get log to base 4 of 4, which is just 1. So it disappears. Then over here, we've got x log to base 4 of 5. You might even be able to just, without even bringing it down, you can see, actually, that remember, log is sort of saying, what do I raise 4 to the power of to get this thing here? So, of course, it is 2x plus 1. Okay, now you've got a couple of options. You could work out what log to base 4 or 5 is if you struggle to kind of deal with these things um, exactly. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal with it exactly. 1 is going to equal x log to base 4 or 5 minus 2x. And I can actually factorize the x out. Definitely want to talk about this method because, you know, in another question you could be asked to leave it exact. And then we can just divide by all of that. So x will equal 1 over log to base 4, 5, minus 2. Again, it's only at this point I'm going to get my calculator out and put it in. This gives minus 1.1918 or minus 1.19. To three significant figures. So if you struggle a little bit more, then one possible strategy is to find out what log to base 4 of 5 is. 1.1609. And you can put it in like that. And then now we could, we've could we sort of turned it into an equation that's a little bit easier to deal with because there's no logs involved. So we could minus the 1.1609 from the 2 and then minus 1 from both sides. So we do 2 minus this to give 0 0.8390. x equals minus 1. And then divide through minus 1 by this and we get the same answer okay so it's, it's a possible method and quite often you know people do quite like it it's a little bit easy to understand but i would say this is also really the way you want to go for questions where you have to leave it exact okay second method is some people also like to do this and when i did logs i didn't have a log to base 4 button on my calculator so i always took log to base 10 back in the old days um, although this was after people had to use ta just tables of values, they didn't even have a calculator. So, hey, so log to the power of 4, sorry, log to 4 to 2x plus 1 equals log 5 to the x. Now, this is base 10. I, I don't need to write base 10 because it's implied. Now I bring down the 2x plus 1 and the x. Expand it out. So 2x log 4. You can see it's a little bit more complicated because of the, the base. I end up with logs on both sides. Okay, and you can either do my second method and kind of um, substitute in, or I'm, we're going to do it exactly. So log 4 will equal, I'm going to factorize the x out, log 5 minus 2 log 4. And then x would equal log 4 over log. And being able to do it to other bases, such as base 10, is also important because you might be asked to, for example, might be show that, show that the solution can be written like this, and then you'd have to use base 10. And let's just check that it does give the same answer. Okay, same answer, there we go. All right, so a few different methods. 
that you have to do that or done.